Good morning and welcome back to this online classes. We have been discussing on the third point that is uh, number three steps central proposi proposition of the text. Okay. Um, last class we have discussed on uh, what is CPT. Okay, we'll continue with the CPT. Uh, what what does the CPT look like? Okay, what does the CPT look like or the central proposition of the text look like? It is always in the form of a full grammatical sentence. If it is less than sentence, it is not a proposition by definition. So according to a definition, CPT should be in full grammatical sentence okay full grammatical sentence if it is not a sentence or less than a sentence it is not a proposition by itself so when you make a proposition central proposition of the text it should be full grammatical sentence okay so how does the uh, what does the CPT contain? Okay, it has two components the theme of the text, the theme of the text answer in question, what is the author talking about in the text? So, CPT contains two components. Number one is the theme, and what is the theme? The theme is the answer to the question that the author is talking about in the text. Okay, answering the question, what the author is talking about. For example, we read from Ezra 7.10 and the CPT to take out the theme, what actually Ezra was talking about in the text what Ezra is talking about there or what Ezra was talking about there okay that is the theme and number two is the, the trust of the text the trust of the text the trust of the text answer the question what is the author saying about what he is talking about in the text trust theme is what the author is talking about we have to answer that one and trust is what the author is talking about the theme okay or what the author is talking about what he is talking what the author is saying about what he is talking about in the text i know for sure you are going to confuse but let me explain to you again theme you see down there <clears throat> theme what is the author talking about in the text okay let's take an example from um john three sixteen. okay for god so loved the world that he uh, that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever believes believe it in him shall not perish but have everlasting life okay john 3 16. what is john talking about there what is john talking about there he is talking about the love of god okay that become the theme that became the theme what is the author talking about in the text he is talking about the love of god so the love of god became the uh you know the love of god became the uh, theme of the text now what is trust what is the author saying about what he is talking about in the text so what is the author saying about for your easy understanding what is the author saying about theme or what is the author saying about the love of God? Okay, I declare that trust. What is the author saying about the love of God? So, what is the author saying about the love of God? He says, Now, for God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever uh, believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That is all what he's talking about in the text. Okay, when he says the love of God, he's talking about that God so loved the world. And number two, he says that he sent his only begotten son. And number three, he says, uh, those who believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay, so these are the three divisions that you can see. So the theme and trust you put together, you put together the theme and the trust in John 3, 16. Now, what do you get there? What do you get there? The love of God, God the, the love of God is a theme. Trust is God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son, whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. If you put it together, the love of God is, okay, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and should not, uh, those who ever believe should not perish. Okay, that is the uh, 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 CPT or the central proposition of the text. I am taking only from one verse. That is why almost all the words from the verse comes together. But if you are taking a long passage like um, uh, from verse 1 to 15 or 16 or 20, whatever. Okay, if you are uh, constructing your text there, you have to bring only one sentence of all that you are talking about. Okay, in a small nutshell. So that we call it CPT. Now, unless you know your CPT, you cannot preach expository sermon. Okay, many of the expository preacher you see and you, you have been hearing what uh, the expository preaching is. But you know, until unless they preach on the CPT or they make CPT, they cannot preach the, uh, the you know, uh, expository preaching. Okay. So... The CPT is derived in derived from step two. So where do you get your CPT? Your CPT derives from step two when you structure the text. Okay, when you structure the text, and it's grammatical at its grammatical or context cue, you met a division for a section. Minor grammatical or content cues determine subsections each major section has a subject or a single theme the way the author relates these single themes will help you discover the central proposition of a longer text sympathy derives from the uh, 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 from your structure you are structuring um, divided your you have divided your <clears throat> uh, text by a grammatical rule using the small words or the content for example we, we use uh, Ezra has determined his heart to study the law to the to obey the law and to teach the law Okay, to study the law, to obey the law, and to teach the law. So, you, you put it together that to study the law, he has decided to uh, study the law, to obey the law, and to uh, teach the law. So, you put together, think it, go for sympathy, and the sympathy would be what the author is saying here. Okay, what the author, that, that is the theme. What the author, the author is talking about his commitment. Okay, the author is talking about his, So Ezra is talking about his, Ezra is determined to commit. Or Ezra has committed. What has he committed? Or thrust is, what is the author saying about his commitment? The uh, trust is the author is talking about his commitment that he will uh, study the law, he will obey the law, and he will teach the law. So you put together, Ezra has taken a commitment to study the law, to <clears throat> uh, 
obey the law and to teach the law. So that becomes the CPT, the central proposition of the text. So the whole nutshell of what you are going to preach or what you are going to make a sermon is in that nutshell. Okay. So once you make this CPT, it is very easy to transfer it into CPT. Okay. So these are some of the uh, small examples of CPT. Now you go to Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 1 to 21. You study there and then try to find out the CPT. Okay, try to find it out the CPT. I hope you're working with the knots. Okay, so now we'll uh, just wind up from here. In the next class, we'll go for step number four. Okay, have a nice time. Have a blessed day. God bless you all.